Dear friends, I would like to invite you for a word of prayer today before we study the great controversy. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you and I praise you. Lord, inhabit our study of the Holy Scriptures and from the spirit of prophecy. May your Holy Spirit guide us to understand the day, the time we are living in, just before you will come again. Thank you for forgiveness of our sins and for your grace that we could study today in jesus name amen our study today is found in great controversy page 606 the last paragraph here and i would like to read thus the message of the third angel will be proclaimed as the time comes for it to be given with greatest power the lord will work through humble instruments leading the minds of those who consecrate themselves to his service the laborers will be qualified rather by the unction of the holy spirit than by the training of literary institutions another profound statement from ellen g white the messenger of the lord and i'd like to continue reading Man of faith and prayer will be constrained to go forth with holy zeal, declaring the words which God gives them. The sins of Babylon will be laid open. The fearful results of enforcing these observances of the church by civil authority, the inroads of spiritualism, the stilty but rapid progress of the papal power, all will be unmasked. The good news is that there are many faithful Seventh-day Adventist uh, preachers who still proclaim the third angel's message. And they unmask the true nature of the papacy and also the inroads of spiritualism in our churches, the liberal movement in our church, the progressive movement that are rapidly embracing spiritualism and spiritism there are also many generous and liberal members of our church who are still fundamentally adhering to the historic teachings and, and doctrines of the church but what sister white here is saying is there will be preachers and proclaimers of truth who will unmask who will expose the deceptions that are uh, encroaching into our churches i'd like to continue reading by these solemn warnings the people will be steered thousands upon thousands will listen who have never heard words like this in amazement hear the testimony that the babylon is the church fallen because of her errors and sins because of her rejection of the truth sent to her from heaven as the people go to their former teachers with the eager inquiry, are these things so? The ministers present fables, prophecy, smooth things to suit their fears and quiet the awakened conscience. But since many refuse to be satisfied with the mere authority of men and demand, demand a plain, thus saith the Lord, the popular ministry like the Pharisees of old, filled with anger as their authority is questioned, questioned, will denounce the messages of Satan and stir up the sin-loving multitudes to revile and persecute those who proclaim it. This is a solemn warning. There will be pastors amongst us and people amongst us who will persecute those who proclaim the third angel's message to be separate from babylon so friends let us be aware that we are warned by the spirit of prophecy the next paragraph says and it's exciting to read this as the controversy extends into new fields and the minds of the people are called to god's downtrodden law satan is austere the power attending the message will only madden those who oppose it. The clergy will put forth almost superhuman efforts to shut away the light 
lest it should shine upon their flocks. By every means at their command, they will endeavor to suppress the discussion of these vital questions. The church appeals to the strong arm of civil power, and in this work, Papists and Protestants unite as the movement for Sunday enforcement becomes more bold and decided, the law will be invoked against commandment keepers. They will be threatened with fines and imprisonment, and some will be offered positions of influence, and others rewards and advantages as inducements to renounce their faith. But their steadfast answer is, show us from the word of God our error. The same plea that was made by Luther under similar circumstances. Those who are arraigned before the courts make a strong vindication of the truth. And some who hear them are led to take their stand to keep all the commandments of God. Thus light will be brought before thousands who otherwise would know nothing of these truths. Page 608. Conscientious obedience to the Word of God will be treated as rebellion. Friends, we are being warned. This is the final warning. Those of us who made it our commitment to obey the Word of God and keep His commandments will be treated as terrorists or rebellious people. Blinded by Satan, the parent will exercise harshness and severity toward the believing child. The master or mistress will oppress the commandment-keeping servant. Affection will be alienated. Children will be disinherited and driven from home. The words of Paul will be literally fulfilled. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. A very solemn warning to all of us. Dearly beloved, those of us who proclaim the third, the second angel's messages are going to be persecuted, especially if we profess Jesus and live godly lives. And now we are being prepared and we are being warned that in order for us to overcome this great persecution that is about to come, that we will be following the Lamb wherever He goes. That means we become more and more Christ-like as we study His Holy Word. Yes, there are many rough edges and there are many abhorrent uh, characteristic traits that we may, uh, we may still manifest, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, by being transformed and dying daily from our sins, friends, we will be called upon to be witnesses in this time of persecution. Those who live godly lives will be persecuted, not by the outward, not only by the, uh, by the outward society, but those who are in the churches, the seventh day having these churches. So now my prayer for all of us is to be ready. As we have heard the prophetic gift from the messenger of the Lord, Alan G. White. So friends, the question today that I would like to share with you or live with you is that are you living a godly life? Are you being persecuted because you are choosing to obey God and keep His commandments? If you're being persecuted for wrong reasons, then that is not what the Bible says. What the Bible says is those who live godly lives will be persecuted. We don't invite persecution but the prophecy is there that those who live contrary to what society lives contrary to what the culture lives we who obey God and love his commandments will be indeed persecuted friends may we be ready may we be aware it is indeed an honor to suffer because of Christ Jesus it is an honor to be to be harmed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes our response should always be like that of Jesus Christ father forgive those who will persecute us for they do not know what they are doing once again thank you for joining me and if you have um, a prayer request join me today as I pray 
and as I um, end our little time together uh, with the great controversy and the scriptures. Father in heaven, I thank you for the holy word. We are reminded that when we follow you, we will be harmed. When we follow you, we will be persecuted. But it is indeed an honor and it's in the profound joy to suffer alongside with you and the rest of those who obey and follow you. Dear Lord, we are now worthy even to suffer, even to be crucified because we are indeed guilty of sin. But you, you are the sinless one. You allow yourself to be sacrificed so that you, myself and those who believe in you will be saved. So, Father in heaven, I pray and I and I ask for strength in this time and that your transforming power through your holy word will be, will be seen in my life and those who obey you and keep your commandments. So, Lord, I pray for those who are going through difficult times. May they will feel the, the spirit of conviction, the spirit of, 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 of transformation because your Holy Spirit is working in our time just before you will come lord as we linger here on this earth may we find joy and peace as we believe in your son jesus christ he's soon coming in his grace in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen